How you doing? Uh, just taking a videotape of a job I did for uh, some solar panels. Uh, basically, uh, this is for a 16 by 32 pool. Um, and there's 10 panels that are mounted on a platform that is 16 foot wide by 24 feet high. Uh, it's made out of pressure treated lumber. It's 24 on center, 2 by 6 construction with 4 by 4 posts that have been concre concreted in. Um, these are the solar panels. Okay, they're made by a company called Enersol out of Canada. Um, this is the job I did. Okay, uh, basically, uh, here's an automatic valve here. Um, I put gauges in that'll tell you the pool temperature. Okay, and there's also an electronic sensor there. Um, and then the water will go out of there, go in through the filter, and then out of the filter, and then hit this three-way valve. Uh, this three-way valve now is in the open position and it's sending water through the panels because this sensor over here, okay, which is located right by the panels that senses the air temperature, um, is sensing a higher temperature uh, by four degrees more than this sensor here, which is the pool temperature. Um, anyway, this is the controller. I'll show it to you. Um, this is the controller. Okay, and uh, it's gold, uh, gold line controls is who makes it. And right now it says that the pool is 68 degrees. You hit the, the button, it tells you that the temperature with the collector right now, the sensor that senses the air, it's in the sun of course, is 98 degrees. Okay, which will allow that to continue on. Now the next setting is um, 95. That's the desired temperature right now. So when it hits 95, the, it'll shut off, shut off and close the valve. Um, anyway, uh, I'll show you. Right now, it's, it is in the open position. So um, I'll just show you quickly. If I turn the whole panel off, you'll see the valve move. Uh, as you can tell, it's moving to the closed position, which will take the water. It'll come in here, and it'll divert the water now back on the return. Now, I installed a check valve here so it won't back up into the return line of the solar panels okay as well as a gauge here which tells you um, the temperature of the solar panels with the water coming out of the solar panels so right now it's in the closed position and the water is being diverted on the return to back to the pool okay now I'll turn it back to the auto position okay and now since my sensor is higher than the pool temperature Okay, it'll open up the valve and it'll take the water and divert it out now to my solar panels. Um, and uh, these solar panels, like I said, they're made by a company called Enersol out of Canada. Okay, there's very small tubes that run through a, through a mat. Okay, and that's how it works. And this mat, they, it conducts the heat. Now the surface area of the water in the tubes is, is less than uh, in a large piece of pipe. So it picks the heat up and it sends it up and then back on the return. Um, you always connect the panels at the furthest point of, from where the uh, water enters. You always do it on the opposite side and so on. And um, as you can tell, I plugged everything else. They can be removed to drain out the water at a later date and, uh, or hook up a compressor to blow the air out. Um, I put low point drains in. So the low point drains, you can open them up and you can drain the water out. Um, so, like I said, this is 16 by 24 feet high and it goes up on a 15 degree incline, which I found to be very easy to work on. Any steeper than that would probably be difficult. Um, with these panels, okay, you only fasten the top part of the panel, okay. The bottom part of the panel has to be allowed to, has to be left unfastened so that it allows for the mats and everything to expand and contract. Um, so, just basically walking around. Um, this whole platform is pressure treated, like I said. Uh, I went and got a good, uh, good exterior paint that lasts 25 years. So it's been painted, I sprayed it. Um, all of my footings have been concreted, my, my posts have been concreted in the ground. And this platform is plenty sturdy. Um, I've left plenty, plenty of space underneath now that could be used for storage. 
so that in itself is good too um, anyway I just wanted to uh, take this video and maybe uh, you know somebody that uh, is installing this could use it to help them out and um, maybe you'll be hearing from my company someday thank you very much